Hey guys, Christina here, and today I have a look for you and a review of Apologia's Exploring Creation with Earth Science. Our family recently completed this course. I did it with my children who were in grade three, grade six, and grade seven, and I had a child in kindergarten kind of follow along as well. We did use the notebooking journals for the older three children. I did not have anyone using the junior notebook this year, but I'm going to turn the camera around, give you a look at all of these resources and what they look like and the curriculum. Then I'll come back here and share my thoughts on them. So this is what the textbook looks like. It is hardcover. It's just over 300 pages. It starts off pretty much the same as all of their books with some information about textbooks, the notebooking journals, which I will show you the one I have here, audio books, then it goes right into the table of contents. There's 14, they call them lessons, but they're like chapters or units. There's the observable universe, life in the habitable zone, spheres of the earth, mapping your world, the geosphere, making and shaping the land, the hydrosphere, the atmosphere, climate and weather, weather forecasting, the biosphere, cycles of life, unique places on earth, God in creation. And then there's also the appendix, supply list, word pronunciations, index key, index, sorry, answer key, index, and image credits. So they have a little bit more information here. There is a code also you can put into their website that has extra resources for each like unit or chapter. And wow, they have a lot of things on there. I always forget about them until the end, but they have a lot. So this is kind of what it looks like. They have these activities you can do throughout the um, chapter or unit. They have little questions in orange and the answers to them are in the back. Just stop and review what you've done. And then they have the what do you remember at the end. So that's like the first chapter. So I'll just kind of go through the book here so you can see the back. These are the answers to those questions. These are the supply list. Give you a look. They have so much color and so many pictures. I really, really like the layout of this program. I've used a few of the other Exploring Creation, and this one just by far is so much better, so much more colorful. The writing is more streamlined and straightforward. I really like it. So this is what it looks like. So you can see how they have like the orange questions for you to ask. They have the different activities to do throughout. The what do you remember? So that's what the book looks like. Here's what the notebooking journal looks like. So I had all three children use this one this year instead of, in the past I've had some children use the junior didn't need one this year. So this book is just over 300 pages. It's spiral bound. The spirals held up pretty well. They came out a little bit, but nothing ripped. I found the notebooking journal so helpful on those years where I just, I don't want to do any prep and everything is just here. So again, they have the information here and then they have kind of, they have the schedule parent guide, the lessons, my special spot solutions and photo credits. So right away, it starts off with a suggested weekly schedule. It's two times a week for 28 weeks. It tells you exactly which pages to read in the textbook, which activity to do, and then this is the notebooking journal, which page to do along with that. Now, if you have used these notebooking journals before, I found this one is quite different. So I'll give you kind of a good look at it. They really updated and made it more I feel like it's easier and more user friendly. We did not do every single activity or page in here, and I'll talk more about that in a minute. But so for the first one, the observable universe, they always have a coloring page and they have a note page for you to make notes on. And then they have various different activities. So this one they had to cut and write notes underneath. They have, oh, that's our old address anyways. It's okay. <laughs> um, different cosmic address and you like, you do a fold out there, my place in space. So lots of hands-on activities for every single unit. Oh, that one's stuck. 
I had to put the right definition under the right um, word. We didn't do these pages. And then there's the what do you remember. So I'll give you kind of a flip through of another one. You can see they have activities. They have to cut and glue these. This one, they had to put it on top of the right one there. So it's very hands-on, this part of it. Give you a quick flip through all of it. They have all the answers back here for like the word searches and activities. I really do like these. I like how they're different hands-on. They really are notebooking journals, getting the kids to recall, remember. There's Old Faithful, the Geyser. <laughs> Lots of different activities. I just so appreciate it sometimes when I just, I can't. I can't do a whole bunch of prep that year. So, I really do appreciate it. And there's a look at that. So the format is quite different if you use the other ones, but I really like this one. I like the changes they've made to it. So it's no secret from what I just told you that I really enjoyed this course. We moved across country from Alberta to New Brunswick and I just knew I was not going to have time to do a bunch of prep work or to get a bunch of pieces and this was just so easy to not worry about that. I like the way that they've made changes. It's just, I think it's more engaging now. It's more fun. It's more interactive and I feel like maybe it's for a little bit younger kids because sometimes I feel like Apologia, they can be a little bit too in-depth but this one seemed a little bit easier on that if that makes sense the lessons i found according to their schedule are much shorter so you're reading less which is nice there was one activity that they did throughout the whole book where you make a globe and you slowly add the land and the water and different lines and different um uh, biomes and stuff we didn't do that again because we started i think we did we would have done about six weeks maybe before we moved I just knew there was no way I could move this globe with us so we didn't do it we may still do it over the summer because it's a pretty cool activity and it carries all the way through so I kind of wish we had maybe we'll do it this summer we'll see my kids liked it they said that some of the stuff they'd already learned about like the water cycle and um, they wished I think the rocks went into a little bit more detail but they did like it. Now, I'm just gonna take a minute here and grab a few resources to show you of things we added in as well. So while the curriculum itself is very full, I do like to add a few more things in just to make it a little more engaging. So we use Professor Noggins as often as we can. This is Earth Science. It's a card game if you haven't seen it. So there's a dice that you roll, and then there's these cards, and each card has two sections on the back for like child, they call them student or scholar now. And there's three in each category, so like easier and harder. Everyone can play this game in my family, so we use that. I also did pick up Canadian Rocks and Minerals. This was a nice kit. It came with a little book. This is from Scholastic. Oh, that's the poster. This little book here. And then it came with these minerals and a little magnifying glass. So my kids enjoyed looking at those when we did the minerals. We also got a lot of books from the library. I'll post some pictures here to show you just a few of like the series that I found, but we got way more books than that from the library, depending what we were learning about that week. I also used um, DVDs we would get from the library, mostly Bill Nye ones. They're just classic, right? They help reinforce the learning. I think that's the majority of the things that we used. But there's just there's so much you can do with our science right so overall the course was good i enjoyed it i would definitely do it again and use it again and recommend it to other people there isn't a whole lot i would change about it honestly um the last chapter i guess i i didn't read everything um what was that chapter called God and creation, I felt like it was a little bit too much for our family in that kind of respect, but I just took it out. That's what you do. You make curriculum work for you and your family. So if you have any questions about the curriculum or how we used it or resources, leave it in the comment section down below. I'm always happy to answer questions for you. And otherwise, I hope this finds you having a great day. Take care.